Hello, this is a short video about how to use the Equation Editor in Microsoft Word 2010. Now, just a note, the Equation Editor is much different uh, before this version of uh, Microsoft Office. So, what we're first going to do is we start off with a blank document. We're going to insert and go over to Equation. Okay. So now, here we, it brings up a bunch of different options. we got symbols, we have fractions, scripts, radicals. So there's lots of options, as you can see. And these are just the, um, you know, there's not that many symbols shown up here. So there's a lot more if you want to go up here and change to Greek letters, letter-like symbols, operators, you name it. It has lots of stuff here. So the first thing we want to do is why don't we just do uh, what we um, have been doing a lot in class. Let's just do the present value formula. So PV equals, and then now we know what we're going to have is a fraction. We're going to have one thing on top and one thing on the bottom. So we add a fraction, and I usually like it to look like this. So I would say PV, remember PV equals present value equals future value, divided by 1 plus the little d, the discount rate, 2, um, now, so now we see the little carrot and T. We don't really like that. We'd rather have the T be up top. So what we do is we that little carrot is a symbol for having that little T um, being raised to the power. And if we hit the space bar twice, space, space, it'll go up. So um, that's one thing you can do in the equation editor is if you hit a couple spaces after what you think, uh, it'll it'll format it for you, which is pretty nice. Now, you never want to just have a formula. Um, without defining um, the variables. So what I would say is if you put this for formula like this in your report, what you want to do is type where I mean you can do this in, in any way you think possible you uh, you want to do, but this is how I do it, where PV is present value FV is future value little d is discount rate is, and it will, in this case we'll say is the real discount rate. Remember if you're including inflation in your analysis you have to use the nominal discount rate there. And T is the time in years. Okay. Now this might, this looks a little messy so what I would probably do is format the paragraph so that there's no space between the lines. Okay, so that's a very, very brief introduction to the equation editor, but at least it'll get you started. And that's what you want to use when you're making equations in Excel. I want to see nicely formatted equations.